Hello, hello, it's me, Kathy, bringing you back another video, and finally, finally, I've done it, everyone. I figured out how to make a speed draw. I finally delivered a speed draw. I've been wanting to do one of these for since really since I started YouTube. I could never figure out how to, and finally I sat my sat myself down and figured it out. My main obstacle was exactly getting the good right angle to record it at, like as you see, like completely facing down, like uh, an aerial view facing down. And I finally figured out a way for my to get before. I'm pretty sure. Uh, finally figured out how to get my my tripod to do that so it's all good and even then um it's kind of hard to do it even because with uh, my iphone i can really only get like 40 minute clips which really they're like 15 i, sp I spread them out to like 15 20 minute clips so it's easier to get them to my pc throughout this whole video you'll see the lighting change and that is mainly because a i'm filming it in front of my window so the sunlight is my primary source of the light and it took me the entire day to really film this video and draw the drawing. Now it didn't take me that long to draw it, per se, but it did take me that long to film it. So, you'll see the day kind of change, you'll see my uh, lamp go on because it's too dark uh, outside, so that's that. And what this drawing is, really, is just, uh, you'll see me doing a lot of these kinds of drawings on my channel. Even now, you'll look through my channel and see maybe one or two uh, videos of me showing my my artwork and having really detailed intricate stuff like this uh, kind of on the darker side I know but really I just uh, got up one day and just like I wanted to draw a ramp skull so and I have done one a piece like this already not like this but I haven't done a piece which the subject is a, a ramp skull and I don't know what it is just I think it's really pretty just like the horns and the whole, the whole symmetry that, that the skull has and just the look of it how simple and like almost elegant skulls look just in general, not just ram skulls. It's like magnificent horns that uh, this creature has, it's just uh, beautiful. And you know, animals themselves are just a beauty to draw, but you know, you go underneath and it's just like, uh, it's just the whole beauty reincarnated. It's just, you know, if you draw, you draw animals themselves, you're just a wonderful subject to draw, but um, you know, skeletal skeletons, there's just, a whole nother beauty layer of beauty to the creatures themselves so and like most of my drawings here you'll see me outline it with uh, the micron uh, multi-liner all of this was done in well all of this the RAM at least was done in a micron zero two thickness so the two thickness is what I did and the darker parts I just um, cross hash switch to get them darker has long I didn't do any pointillism in this one, like I do in my other drawings but still and then the sepia tone you see in the background there is done with a I believe a copic three not three like the thick point three really zero point three uh, copic multiliner not the reusable ones but the the ones you throw away the cheaper ones <laughs> Uh, I should order the the reusable ones. Those are I had to do just uh, easier on the wallet over time. So once I get uh, some money, and I'll definitely get those. But uh, yeah, a lot of people look at these kinds of drawings that I do, and they see all the detail, and they think, oh wow, it must have drawn you. It must have taken you like a year or something. Like they they name like a really big like time period. It must have taken you like forever to do this. Oh my god. Look at all the detail, oh my god, and I'm, and, um, really, it really doesn't, I mean, this drawing, you know, I, like I said before, it took me the whole day to draw, but really, it only took me around, really, three or four hours to draw, like, this whole thing, like, drawing, from the drawing to the inking, everything, it took me, like, around three or four hours to draw, I don't know the specific time frame, but, yeah, it really isn't, like, a perfect way to describe it is when you doodle, you doodle, just you let your imagination run free really and you just squiggle so that's what it really is it's just you, you're just squiggling on a sheet of paper and when you're in class that 40 or 50 minute time frame that you're doodling you can doodle a lot within all that time not because what you do is necessarily a really 
intricate or, or what's the word it's like it could be but what it really is is just you squiggling you like you didn't really try hard and it, a lot of them end up really pretty looking a lot of doodles end up just uh like really big mandelas almost just these patterns and really it didn't take you that long to draw because really you're not thinking about it you're just doodling and it's kind of it's the same way with this it's just on a bigger scale i just uh you just make shapes really and they end up looking really nice so and that's really what it is now with these narration videos i probably you'll probably see a lot of uh, drawings like this where they're kind of just like upscale doodles where they have a drawing in the middle like this and then the background's just a bunch of doodles so look out for those in the future um you'll see the final finish uh, the drawing at the end of the video so uh hope you enjoy that and tell me what you guys want to see me draw if you guys have any recommendations for what you want to see me draw i don't draw a lot of anime like i used to like a lot of uh people i really should though i'm really hopping off the blink but anyway i can really get better if i just practice which i really should do but really, it just um, these things, these kinds of things are really the easiest for me to draw because, like I said before, they're really just upscale doodles and they don't require a lot of uh, brain power per se to 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 have. You just draw it. That's really what uh, all I'm doing is just drawing it. And once I finished the Ram School, I really didn't know what I was gonna do next after that. I just I just drew, and I did. <laughs> it ended up looking like that. So. Uh, and I recommend anybody doing that, really. It's a uh, really good way to re relax, actually. Uh, not when you're not, like, recording it and <laughs> worrying about ho what it looks like, so. But, uh, yeah, it's just if you want to see me draw something, uh, put it in the comments below, and I'll consider it, and uh, uh, maybe I'll dry it. Who knows? And, uh, you know, I... Oh, speaking of which, I have this painting I'm working on. It's a uh, much bigger one than I'm used to, and uh, I'm definitely going to make a video about that. It's not near finished, though, so I'll probably make a work in progress video about that. I'm, like, halfway through the uh, grayscale of it right now. It's an oil painting, so. And I think it can't, it's coming out pretty decent so far, so look out for that in the future. And uh, there's not much else to say. Uh, I really, really want to do, actually, like, story time videos with these narrations in the future, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I don't know if my life's that interesting. <laughs>